Keeping your heart healthy is something you can work on every day. What you eat, how much you move, whether you smoke, and controlling your cholesterol and blood pressure are five things that can have a big impact on your heart. In this video, we will tell you 10 untold secrets for healthy heart you should know. Ten, limit bad fat. Specifically, this means saturated fat and trans fat. Foods containing saturated fat, such as fatty beef, bacon, sausage, lamb, pork, butter, cheese, and other dairy products made from whole or 2% milk, raise the level of LDL, bad cholesterol, in your blood. Lean cuts of meat, however, can be healthy. More on that later. High cholesterol, in turn, increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. Trans fats are both naturally occurring and artificial. However, most trans fats, also known as trans fatty acids, are found in processed food and labeled as partially hydrogenated oils. Fried foods, french fries, fried chicken, and baked goods, donuts, cakes, pies, cookies, as well as frozen pizza and stick margarine are common culprits. Trans fats raise your bad cholesterol levels lower your good cholesterol levels, and can also increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. The American Heart Association recommends that adults limit their consumption of saturated fat to 5-6% to of their total calories. 9. Say no to salt. Too much sodium in the bloodstream can increase water retention in blood vessels and increase blood pressure. Over time, high blood pressure puts greater strain on the heart and can contribute to plaque buildup that blocks blood flow. Additionally, a high sodium diet can also lead to bloating, puffiness, and weight gain. Passing on the salt shaker is a good start, but reducing sodium takes a bit more effort and attention. Check the labels on food you buy at the store. They are required by law to include the amount of sodium in the product. Likewise, request no added salt when ordering at a restaurant. More than 75% of sodium intake comes from processed, prepackaged, and restaurant foods. Just as daunting, the American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day, which is approximately the size of a teaspoon of salt. Still, it's worth the work. Cutting down on salt can reduce risk of high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, osteoporosis, stomach cancer, kidney disease, kidney stones, enlarged heart, headaches, puffiness, bloating, and weight gain. 8. Opt for low-fat dairy Dairy can be a serious source of saturated fat, so when at all possible, opt for fat-free or low-fat dairy products, such as skim or 1% milk. Other smart options include low-fat cheese, such as part-skim ricotta, dry-curd cottage cheese or natural, as opposed to processed, cheese. The fats in dairy are associated with high blood cholesterol, one of the six main risk factors for heart disease. However, eating low-fat dairy is associated with a reduced risk of stroke. 7. Eat any type of produce Eating fruits and vegetables is an essential part of a heart-healthy diet because they are low in calories and high in fiber and other nutrients. In-season produce may taste the most fresh and provide natural variety to your diet, but canned or frozen fruits and vegetables can be sufficiently nutritious as well. Frozen fruits are preserved at peak ripeness and can maintain their nutritional value for several months. Still, be sure to check the labels for sodium levels and try to buy options with no sugar added. Canned fruits and vegetables can also present a risk for added salt or sugar. Read the labels. Produce that is canned in water or its own juice is your best bet, and be sure to drain and rinse any that are kept in a light syrup. 6. Go for whole grains Whole grains contain B vitamins, fiber, folic acid, iron, magnesium, selenium, and other nutrients that can be lost in the refining process. Whole wheat, oats and oatmeal, rye, barley, popcorn, brown and wild rice, and buckwheat are all popular types of whole grains. Quinoa, while not technically a grain, is another common choice. These whole grains can help improve blood cholesterol levels and lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. 5. Fill up on all types of fiber Dietary fiber comes in two forms, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. The former is especially associated with reduced levels of bad cholesterol 
and decreased risk of cardiovascular disease, but all foods containing dietary fiber offer healthy benefits. Another bonus? Foods that are high in fiber can help you feel full on fewer calories, thereby supporting weight loss efforts and healthy weight management. You should try to eat at least 28 grams of dietary fiber per day, but the average intake is less than half that amount. Oats and oat bran offer the most concentrated sources of soluble fiber, while wheat, rice, rye, and other grains are mostly insoluble fiber. Legumes, beans, and peas, as well as certain fruits like pears, and vegetables like peas are also good sources of both soluble and insoluble fibers. 4. Choose meat carefully. For many people, meat is their primary source of protein, but many favorites – burgers, steak, bacon – are also major sources of saturated fat. Shifting to heart-healthy proteins can help reduce the risk factors of heart disease. The American Heart Association recommends fish, shellfish, skinless poultry, and trimmed lean meats, which includes many cuts of pork. You should consume no more than 6 ounces cooked per day, and the AHA encourages you to eat at least two servings of baked or grilled fish each week. Beans, peas, lentils, or tofu mixed with whole grains, such as brown rice, can also provide complete protein sources without the saturated fat levels. 3. Prepare for success. An easy way to boost the health of your eating habits is to reconsider how, and how much, you're cooking. This means portion control. A 3-ounce portion of protein is the size of a deck of cards, or about half a chicken breast, and it means prep. Bake, broil, or roast meat instead of pan or deep frying. Pour off the fat after browning and remove the skin and fat off poultry before cooking. However, when roasting a chicken or turkey, remove the skin after cooking, but before carving. 2. Drink water. For the most part, adults should drink water or non-sugar sweetened beverages like black coffee or tea. Soda, sports drinks, energy drinks, and fruit drinks, including juice, can be major sources of added sugar. Sweeteners offer zero nutrients but often contribute to weight gain and obesity, which are factors for heart disease. A can of regular soda contains 8 teaspoons of sugar, or about 130 calories. And even diet sodas containing artificial sweeteners are doing nothing to help you curb a sweet tooth. 1. Stay active. A heart-healthy diet requires more than just evaluating what you're eating. Exercise offers a huge assist whether your goal is to lose weight, strengthen your heart, or simply maintain the healthy shape you're in. Working out regularly can reduce blood pressure and cholesterol levels, and it can also keep your metabolism up to speed. It is also a great way to reduce stress. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate physical activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week. A heart-healthy diet forms the foundation of fighting heart disease. Eating well can help you maintain healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels while also reducing your risk for obesity and diabetes. Moreover, research from Northwestern Medicine shows that following a healthy diet as early as young adulthood can have an impact on heart health as early as your 30s. Which is to say, there's no time like the present to affirm or adopt your own heart-healthy diet. Don't sit for too long at one time. In recent years, research has suggested that staying seated for long periods of time is bad for your health no matter how much exercise you do. This is bad news for the many people who sit at sedentary jobs all day. When looking at the combined results of several observational studies that included nearly 800,000 people, researchers found that those who sat the most there was an associated 147% increase in cardiovascular events and a 90% increase in death caused by these events. In addition, sitting for long periods of time, especially when traveling, increases your risk of deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot. Tip! Experts say it's important to move throughout the day. Park farther away from the office, take a few shorter walks throughout the day, and or use a standing workstation so you can move up and down. And remember to exercise on most days. Get enough sleep. Sleep is an essential part of keeping your heart healthy. If you don't sleep enough, you may be at a higher risk for cardiovascular disease no matter your age or other health habits. One study looking at 3,000 adults over the age of 45 found that those who slept fewer than six hours per night were about twice as likely to have a stroke or heart attack as people who slept six to eight hours per night. Researchers believe sleeping too little causes disruptions in underlying health conditions and biological processes, including blood pressure and inflammation. Tip: Make sleep a priority. 
get seven to eight hours of sleep most nights. If you have sleep apnea, you should be treated as this condition is linked to heart disease and arrhythmias. Do let us know in the comments how you take care for your heart. Please subscribe to the Health Awareness. Thanks for watching.